Sony's Spider-Verse is expanding with new films featuring Spider-Man characters such as Madam Web and Venom 3. Madam Web, starring Dakota Johnson and Sidney Sweeney, is set to release on February 16, 2024. It is the latest addition to Sony's Spider-Verse, which has received mixed reactions from fans and critics. The Tom Holland Spider-Man movies were huge hits, but Sony's attempt to create a cinematic universe around Spider-Man's allies and enemies has been less consistent. Venom starring Tom Hardy was a surprise success in 2018, and it laid the foundation for Sony's Spider-Verse. The sequel, Vim, Let There Be Carnage, continued the story of Eddie Brock and his symbiote. Madam Web and Venom 3 are expected to be connected in a mysterious way that goes beyond their stories. A recent YouTube video by New Rockstars explores this connection and how it relates to the Marvel Cinematic Multiverse. The YouTube video shows the multiverse as a tree, a symbol that both Sony and Marvel have used in their animated and live-action films. The video explains how Sony and Marvel have agreed to portray the multiverse as a tree with vertical branches. The Spider-Verse is a separate entity that exists on those branches, like a spider web. The video also discusses how both studios have a theme of destiny in their films. They suggest that all characters are controlled by destiny, but they also have the power to challenge their predetermined fate. Eddie and Venom end up in the MCQ after the end credits of Venom. Let there be carnage. The video speculates that this could be because of cosmic forces like the web of life and destiny. The video argues that this force brought Venom and Eddie to the MCU for a purpose, as part of a bigger plan in the multiverse. The video also highlights the role of destiny in spider man Across the Spider-Verse, Madam Web, who has the ability to see the future, is the protector of the Spider-Verse, similar to how Loki is the god of stories in the MCU.